Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about the Mandarin's Ten Rings of Power. Now let's get started. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is releasing soon, so I thought I'd once again explain what the Ten Rings actually are, their powers, as well as why they look so different in the MCU. First, why do they look so different from the comics? Well, in the comics, the Ten Rings of Power are just that, rings. But from what we've seen in trailers for the movie, the rings aren't rings, but bracelets that the Mandarin wears on his arms. And this makes sense when you think about it, because the rings were created by an alien race of dragons called the Axon Kar, or Mocklins, the same species of dragons as Fin Fang Foom and the Great Protector, the dragon will be introduced to in the movie. Therefore, these rings that literal dragons wear on their fingers would be much bigger on humans. So in the MCU, we'll see them scaled correctly for the first time. Second, what are the Ten Rings? Originally, the rings were used by the dragons as a source of power for their interstellar craft's engines. And lastly, what do each of the rings do? Well, each ring has a different power that only the Mandarin can control. Starting with the left pinky, we have an Ice Blast, which freezes the air in its path and can lower an object's temperature to almost absolute zero. The left ring finger, or the Mental Intensifier, magnifies the Mandarin's psychic energy, enabling him to mentally control a person, but it's only effective at a short range. The left middle finger, or Electro Blast, emits quantities of electrical energy determined by the wearer with an unknown upper limit of output. The left index finger or flame blast emits infrared radiation and can cause air to incandesce by igniting its molecules. The maximum output is also unknown. And lastly, the left thumb or white light emits many different types of energy from the electromagnetic spectrum and is frequently used as intense visible light or as a laser beam. On the right pinky finger is the opposite or black light, which creates an area of absolute blackness where all light is absorbed. It's believed that the ring accesses the dark force which is used by people such as Dark Star and the Shroud. On the right ring finger is the Disintegration Beam, which destroys bonds between atoms and molecules, causing an object's cohesion to fall apart, but it needs 20 minutes to recharge between uses. The right middle finger or Vortex Beam causes air to swirl about in a vortex at high speed. It can levitate objects, propel the wearer in flight, or be used as a weapon. The right index finger or Impact Beam projects concussive force equivalent to approximately 350 pounds of TNT, and it can also cause intense sonic vibrations and create magnetic waves. And the final ring on the right hand is the thumb or matter rearranger, which can rearrange atoms and or molecules of substances or speed up slash slow down their movements to result in various effects, but it cannot actually transmute elements. So let me know what you guys think about all this. Are you excited to see the 10 rings in action when Shang-Chi releases in theaters on September 3rd? And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.